Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Izana Tube. I'm the host Izana. Today is November 1st, 2022. I have a short updated uh, news uh, for you from uh, Ethiopia and beyond. And the news as follows. The news uh, from uh, Tigray region, uh, Ethiopia, uh, the heavy fighting between the Tigray defense forces and uh, the Abiy Ahmed army Eritrean's army, Amhara militia, far no continuous uh, most uh, front line, uh, but uh, nothing like the Adwa uh, front line. The Abiy Ahmed army as well as the Eritrean's army are getting heavy casualties uh, on this uh, front line. Some uh, experts even said that uh, uh, history are repeating itself. We know the Adwa history. Uh, and uh, even some uh, the Tigray Defense Forces soldiers pass on some messages to the Eritrean's army, either uh, uh, surrender or uh, get eliminated. And uh, even uh, said that uh, for uh, this nonsense war, uh, you shouldn't uh, sacrifice uh, their lives. And uh, the heavy fighting uh, uh, all over in the Tigray region continues, and the Tigray Defense Forces are uh, uh, ambushing and uh, uh, piece by piece are eliminating the uh, enemy forces and the heavy fighting continues. The peace uh, negotiation between the Tigray Defense Forces and the Abiy Ahmed Army in uh, South Africa continues and it has been extended until uh, Wednesday and uh, this uh, peaceful uh, resolution uh, negotiation continues uh, between these two parties. The recent attack uh, by Al-Shabaab in uh, Mogadishu, uh, a lot of people uh, got killed, over a hundred uh, uh, reported uh, killed in that attack and uh, 300 uh, wounded. And uh, the war between the Somalian government and Al-Shabaab continues, uh, even though the Somalian uh, uh, government are announcing that uh, they are eliminating uh, the Al-Shabaab, but uh, look what happened. Uh, uh, the recent attack in uh, Mogadishu, a uh, lot of people got hurt uh, uh, because of that. And uh, the uh, Somalian government uh, said that uh, they will uh, continue uh, this operation to uh, eliminate uh, Al-Shabaab from uh, Somalia. Uh, this is the news uh, we have uh, received uh, from uh, uh, Mogadishu, Somalia. At the end, uh, Russia-Ukraine conflict update. Uh, the heavy war continues. Uh, the Russians are raining on their missiles in uh, Ukrainian cities. According to the news shows that uh, Kiev uh, city, 80% of the population uh, don't have uh, uh, power or clean water. Uh, also in uh, Kharkiv as well. And uh, even though the Ukrainian army is saying that uh, they are destroying some missiles in the air, but uh, most of them are landing and they are landing on a fracture. Uh, and uh, because of that, there is no power or clean water. Uh, most cities in the Ukrainians and the heavy war continues. And this is what I have for you today. And thanks for watching.